Hey there, my name is Jonathan from Permaslug, and I'm excited to bring you a video today that's a more typical WordPress one rather than something specific to Oxygen, and that is how to create custom post types and custom taxonomies in WordPress. Now, if you're not familiar with that, both of those are going to allow you to organize different types of content in really useful ways on your site. So a typical use case for a CPT or a custom post type is going to be something like adding locations, team members, if you have a, you know, a bunch of reviews you wanna stick in one place, you can organize them as though they were like in your post tab in the sidebar of WordPress, but instead you have a new entry that you can completely customize. In the example today, we're gonna to create one for locations, and then we'll also create a custom taxonomy, which will be its own dedicated set of categories for that post type. This allows a lot of flexibility for things like search results templates, filtering, and a lot of other really powerful use cases across your site. Now the footage you're going to see was taken from an earlier live stream, so it's not quite the typical video in terms of how it's structured, but I thought it was really useful to be able to do this, and so I'm excited to be able to bring you this clip. Pretty much the only thing you need to get started is to go ahead and install the free plugin called Custom Post Type UI on your website, and that is going to be what I'll, what I'll use in the video to set up the custom post type and the custom taxonomy. Now, what we're gonna do is go ahead and get started. So I am going to start off, like I said, by creating a custom post type. What we're gonna do in this example is like locations. So I want all my locations to be in their own dedicated you know, section of my admin bar. I'm gonna click add edit post type. And like I said before, we're gonna basically base this around just like a uh, simple locations, uh, local directory kind of site. So our, our post type slug here is going to be just locations. You'll notice that if you press a space, it adds an underscore for you. And if you try to do a capital letter, it shrinks it, you know, it, it whatever the word is, decapitalizes it um, because it's your slug. So this is what's going to appear in your post type slug in the URL at the top of the page. So I'm just going to use locations. Plural label will be locations and then singular will be location. So now we'll click add post type. We wanna go ahead and edit our post type right off the bat because there are a couple more changes we need to make. So I am going to scroll way down here and what I'm looking for is, I think I passed it. Uh, no, I didn't, there it is. Has archive is what I'm after. So I need to turn that to true, which will allow us to use this as an archive template in Oxygen. So set that to true. And then we're gonna come down a little bit further. Uh, I like to change the menu icon. So we're gonna go to dash icon class name right here. And I'm gonna take this down all the way until I get to my map pen. And I'm gonna copy this class name. So dash icons hyphen location. We can stick this in the menu icon area. And then before we save, I want to go ahead and turn on the categories taxonomy, which we're not actually gonna use because we're gonna create a custom taxonomy, but I want you to see the difference here. So save post type. And so now we have our locations post type good to go. The reason why I enabled that taxonomy for categories, but I said we're not gonna use it, is because I don't wanna convolute the built-in WordPress categories, and you probably wouldn't wanna do that either if you were gonna use categories on your regular posts. So let me demonstrate real quick. Let's go add a taxonomy. So we're essentially gonna do the exact same thing, um, similar to creating the post type, except this time we're creating a taxonomy. So this taxonomy slug, I'm going to type locations, space categories and it adds the underscore instead of the space plural label let's call this location category and then the singular will be location categories like that and then attached to post type we're going to go to locations which is of course the one that we just created and we'll go to add now we need to go to the edit taxonomies tab if you have more than one just make sure yours is selected and what we need to do is find the hierarchy or a little hierarchical however you say that and change this to true. When it's set to false, it behaves more like a tag than it does a category, but if you change it to hierarchical, then they can kind of nest underneath each other. So go ahead and set that to true. And then for the moment, that should be all we need. There might be one other thing I'm forgetting. Uh, show admin column, I think I want that to be true as well. And let's save. Oh, yep, I messed that up. Whoops, <laughs> good call. So the plural label, should be location categories and then location category. Yes, so I did make that mistake, plural and singular. I actually know the difference, thanks to WordPress. Uh, save taxonomy, we'll update that. So if I were to go into my locations, then you can see I have the categories just like you're familiar with with, with WordPress and then you also have location categories. 
it looks exactly identical. So let's go ahead and just add one called like coffee. And then we'll stick that in. And then if I switch over here to the categories, then I'll, I have these from earlier. <laughs> I have these categories from when I was working on this demo site before I started the stream. But uh, typically you can see they don't correlate. So I deleted all those, but if I come back over here to the location categories, then of course there's just that one. Now the difference is let's go ahead and in this category section, let's just add like breakfast, breakfast, if I can spell it properly. And then you'll notice we're in the locations category, but if I switch to the posts categories, then you can see the breakfast category I created is there. So all of this is to demonstrate where a custom taxonomy is really going to benefit you, which is in organization. And especially if you're creating oxygen archive templates, you really want to consider creating custom post types and custom taxonomies for things like search results. Uh, that's pretty much where I've run into the most headache is trying to filter search results based on taxonomy for different post types. So those would be for more complex sites, but it is something for you to keep in mind. Long story short, we now have what we need, except I'm going to go back to CPT UI and then under our add edit post type, I'm going to edit the one we just created and scroll down back to the taxonomies, the category core. We'll just save this guy. And then now we only have our custom taxonomy in locations. So that is working quite nicely if I do say so myself. Uh, what I'm going to do just quickly for the sake of time is, uh, well, actually let's, let's add one location first of all, so you can see. So this one, I'll just make something up main street coffee, which is what I used earlier in an example. And then we have our location categories here. So this is our custom taxonomy that we created. And of course the coffee for our demonstration, you know, category that I created a moment ago. So it's relatively simple on the back end. I just wanted to show you what this looked like, what this looks like. And now I am going to import the post that I was working with from earlier, just for the sake of time. So we're going to do this real quick. Okay. So now it all worked, I believe. Cool. We are missing one. Well, actually there's, there's our coffee one. So if I edit this, then now you see, I have my address already imported. I need to assign my categories because in the one I imported, there wasn't uh, demo categories and I need to reassign a featured image. So for this park, let's just choose like this tree, this let's just go like, uh, let's call this one park. We'll update this. And then we need to do it for the rest of these locations as well. So we got the park one. Let's do coffee, H and M Tony's Maine. All right. So Hornets, uh, nest disc golf course. Let's just call this like sports. And then I'm going to add this to the category of park and sports. And then we'll pick out this one over here that looked like a golf course to me, update that switch over here to H and M and I'm going to call this clothing or maybe like shops. We'll do shops as a category. And then I had an actual picture of an H and M store. We'll update that bad boy. Uh, Tony's pizza will go dinner. And then I had a picture of some delicious looking pizza, like a margarita pizza or something like that. Maybe that one actually doesn't look as good as I thought it did, but it made me think of margarita pizza and our margarita pizza. So there we go. That's my Italian accent. Hopefully you guys appreciate that. All right. So we already have a category for coffee on this one. And then I have a uh, category over here. So we're going to go ahead and publish this. So now we have our locations posts all set up. So now we have our custom post type and our custom taxonomy set up. We have a few posts and we've gotten some data attached to them. So what would you do with it at this point? You would need something like oxygen or elementor that can let you build an archive template. If you remember, we turned on that has archive equals true. And in the case of oxygen, that means that we can now go create an archive template and display a list of all of those posts inside of our locations CPT. So that means it's incredibly powerful for you to, like I mentioned earlier, kind of segment that information and have dedicated templates for individual pieces of content. Hopefully it has kind of become clear how powerful this is and why you should take advantage of it on your site. So definitely give me your thoughts on it. And as always, I appreciate you watching so much and I will see you in a future video.